exciting makeup tutorial to do for you today. I'm actually doing a collaboration video with Megan McTaggart. She suggested to do a Bridget Bardot makeup tutorial collaboration video and I had just been thinking about doing it myself so I kind of thought that this is meant to be. So she's actually doing a daytime look. I will go ahead and link her video right here. So you can go ahead and check out the daytime Bridget Bardot look. I'm going to do a little bit more of a dramatic nighttime kind of Bridget Bardot look. And for those of you who don't know, Bridget Bardot is a absolutely stunningly beautiful, gorgeous woman from the 1960s. She was kind of a bombshell. She's kind of the Pamela Anderson of the 1960s, if you will. And she just had a very kind of iconic makeup look. It was a very smoky kind of bedtime eye look. I did my hair kind of a Bridget Bardot kind of look, so it doesn't look that volumized. <laughs> for the foundation, just for the base, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's High Definition Foundation. And the color I use is N125. I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, just kind of put it all over my face. And then I'll go ahead and just buff it into my skin. Bridget Bardot usually had her skin kind of pretty matte. It wasn't super matte, but just there wasn't much shine to it. So this foundation is a really nice kind of natural looking foundation and it doesn't give you much of a glow. Her eyebrows were not really overly defined and my eyebrows I think are pretty pretty full. I'm just going to use the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel and this is in the color Caramel. That's the only thing I'm going to use in my eyebrows. I'm just going to use this to pretty much set it in place and if nothing else just give it a little bit more even out color. I'm not an expert in my brows so I just kind of like try to get something that will make them look decent enough. Whenever I try to really fill in my brows I find that I just overfill them in so this is just kind of my godsend product. It just is really simple, really easy and kind of keeps everything in place. I'm going to kind of layer a couple of eyeshadows on top of each other. I'm going to do a chestnut spice kind of layer first and then a soft brown and then more to a kind of matte black color. The first one I'm going to use my sleek palette. This is the Storm palette and I'm using this color right here. Take that first color and I'm just going to use that all over my lid. Just really going right up to this part right here. Next I'm going to use this soft brown color right here to just kind of define my crease. I'm going to go right over where the original spice color was and after I fill this in later on I'm going to go over it again with the black color. So again this is just a layering effect. Bridget Bardot had really kind of smoky defined eyes. By the way, I'm using a short crease brush just to pretty much define where I want the contour to go. And I'm also going to be drawing out more of a cat kind of eye for this look. That is also a big trademark Bridget Bardot feature is having a extreme point cat eye. The same brush I was using before, I'm just going to run it along my lower lash. All along my lower lash. This is a collaboration again with Megan McTaggart. She has a really, really, really great channel. I like her channel. She seems like a genuine girl and unique person as well on YouTube that I've seen. So I'm really excited to do this collaboration with her. Again, go ahead and check out her videos. They are really, really great. I'm going to take a blending brush. This one just happens to be a Sigma, it's a travel size blending brush, it's an E25, and I'm just going to blend out the brown that I used. Make sure there's no edges, just keep blending it out, and honestly if your brush starts to get super dirty, get another blending brush. This, The best thing about this look, if you want it to be a great look, a really successful look, blend, 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 blend. For the next I'm going to use this color by Laura Mercier, it's right there, it's called Rich Coffee. I like this one because I think that it's, it's a soft kind of black brown, so I think it'll be really good. I'm using a Sephora crease brush, just dabbing it right on there, tap my finger, and then again just really try to do that cat eye kind of shape. 
So I'm just going to go over right now and blend in the shadow I've already put on. And then I'll probably just go ahead and layer on another go at black eyeshadow. I'm going to take that same little crease brush and I'm going to put it into the rich coffee dark shadow that I was using. I'm going to again draw it right underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to use Smolder. First I'm going to use it on my waterline right here. Pull down my eye a little bit and just apply it right on top of my waterline. Like that. Ooh. And then I'm going to apply it from the inside of my eyelid all the way out. And I'm going to just extra accentuate that cat eye look. And it does not have to be so clean because we can go ahead and smudge it out again. So I'm going to use a eyeliner brush, just a kind of generic basic one. I'm going to go over that Smolder, Max Smolder eyeliner that I just put on just so there, it's kind of smudged as well. And there isn't any sharp lines. It's just kind of blurred. Here is a MAC 2 and 7 brush and I'm going to use Vanilla Nuts right there, right there, and just apply it right on my brow bone. This is not a shimmer color at all, it's just a matte color. I just want to kind of make the smoky eye a little bit more pronounced just by doing that. I'm going to use a, just a clean brush just to blend those two together. Again, so there's no sharp edges. Next, I'm going to apply this concealer by MAC. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have this in the color NW20. I'm going to apply this with a domed shadow brush. And just underneath my eye makeup. I'm just kind of pat it in there. In the end this just accentuates the smokiness of the look. And you can actually kind of pull this up here if you want to have a little bit more dramatic. The concealer doing it at the end is kind of perfect because it kind of just really helps make the bottom part of your eyes kind of beautifully blended and smoky and clean as well. Today I'm going to use the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Just because I want lots of volume, I'm going to go ahead and apply it and just put it on there pretty thickly, lots and lots and lots of layers because we want big full lashes. Bridget Bardot had pretty contour cheeks and I decided today to use my Hula Bronzer right there and I have Hit Pan on it. So I'm going to use a contour brush by Real Techniques, sucking your cheeks. Go ahead and just in circular motions apply the bronzer. And a little bit right there. So for blush, I'm going to go with Sleek, and this is the color Suede. It's just kind of a bronzy rose color. I'm going to apply it with just a kind of cheapy blush brush. And I'm just going to apply this right along, right on top of where I put the bronzer, so right here. She didn't really put too much on the apples of her cheeks. She just kind of more focused on the jawline. Not jawline. Cheekbones. Now this last part is besides the eyes, like my favorite part of this look. And it is just kind of really full, nudie, kind of brownie beigey lips. And for that, I'm going to use this NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Nude. And again, this is a very full lip lined look, and most of the time she actually overlined her lips. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the line of my lips and then just apply it right overwards. I'm going to apply Max Jubilee Lipstick. It's a kind of really pretty browny nude color and just gonna apply it right to my lips. And so just to kind of set the overall look, I'm going to just use Laura Mercier's Mineral Powder in Real Sand. I'm just going to dust that, ooh, hello, hello, just put it all over my clothes right now. Right there. Right in my cheese and just to kind of what I've done. 
So this is it for my Bridget Bardot inspired nighttime look. Um, again, if you want to go see the daytime look, I am doing a collaboration with Megan McTaggart. So if you want to go ahead and see it, go ahead and click on the link below as well as subscribe to her channel because she has a great variety of videos. She's a really cool, cool, cool chick. I really do like her videos and I think you guys would probably like them too. And if you have any questions or any comments about this, please put them in the comment bar below. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.